Hello, I'm Kurt Miller from makeahero.org. We are based in Boulder, Colorado, and our mission is to grow awareness and help people with physical disabilities get back what they lost through sports and recreation. I'm Morgan Freeman. Please join me in supporting Make a Hero. Some heroes may not be able to lift their legs, but they do have the remarkable ability to lift the spirits of everyone around them. Make a Hero, helping individuals with disabilities enjoy the freedom of sports. Makeahero.org is a group of entertainers, musicians, sports personalities that have contributed to assist us in telling the stories about people and the astonishing things they've done in their lives. The goal of this is to have those heroes really inspire people with disabilities to challenge themselves to get back what they lost through a severe accident. Whether it be an amputation, being paralyzed, blind, is your life is not over after an accident like that and these people inspire you to get that back again, to live your life to the fullest and really change your mind. The Movement, the award-winning film from Make a Hero, narrated by Robert Redford and Warren Miller. This is the story of movement. It's about finding that turning point when physical disability is no longer a limitation, but a part of your character. To learn more, visit makeahero.org. My specialty is making movies and telling stories. The first film, The Movement, has been seen by over five million people in America. It is an inspiring story narrated by Robert Redford and my father, Warren Miller. It tells the story of an individual that was disabled skiing and getting him back on the hill within five days, he had his complete life back. It had completely changed his mind, and he realized how lucky he was and actually is continuing to ski to this day. And now your shoulder, yeah, there, your elbows are a little bit more forward. Perfect. Okay. Holding a grapefruit? Yeah, underneath your armpit. It's like you have grapefruit. By the fourth day yesterday, I got back that, that exciting sensation. Linking turns, getting that weight shift, that sensation that you're in control, you're on it. I, I'm not there yet, but I've tasted it, and that's what brings me back. It's like being four again. Yeah, I haven't had this feeling in a while. It's a beautiful day. His return to Aspen Mountain represents a movement against the inertia that comes with trauma, injury, and disability. He's not alone in this movement. I used to be a big skier. After seeing the movie, I'm preparing to go skiing this winter, so it's really inspired me in that sense, as I want to go back to Vail and do some skiing. For me, my disease, MS, is robbing me of the ability to move with ease. And so when I, when I saw the movement, I saw these, these people, these men and that woman, who were overcoming the limitation of their disability. And I prefer to think of myself as other-abled as opposed to disabled. And that's really the message of the movement, that, that if the will is there and the opportunity is, everyone should be able to move. And, and that's, that's, I think, the great message about the movement. It's really a, a revolution of hope and of people striving to, to have normal lives just like anybody else. And part of that is, is the enjoyment and the celebration of sport. There are hundreds of adaptive organizations that help people get back to sports. No one is aware of them. Many of the people that are disabled are unaware that they're even around. Um, so again, building awareness and that momentum and the movement towards realizing those are there is crucial to our success and to theirs. Um, many of them operate very anonymously through if their child becomes disabled, then they donate their time. But there's not like someone's lining up, oh, I'd love to make, you know, donate my time to this organization. So I think you really have that growing awareness in helping them. And what we can do now is we give them the film to do as fundraisers. 
and they use that as a tool that helps show people what they do. Um, and by doing this, you know, I would say that more money has been donated to the local groups for them to do exactly what they do than has been made to make a hero. Show me how it's done, man. Matt Feeney has taught skiing to over a thousand people with disability. Right. You know what I like? What you do really well, you keep your legs together. <laughs> Anybody who's sedentary, stationary, to me, that is a disability in and of itself. So movement is wonderful because you're, you're getting away from the disability. You're engaging in life. Mike May still holds the world's record for the fastest run by a totally blind skier. I owned a company called Warren Miller Entertainment, which my father founded over 65 years ago. And we produced ski films primarily. And each year we would produce an annual film. And in those films, we would have people with disabilities. And the main goal of that was to show inspiring stories of how people have overcome a traumatic accident. And it inspires those that are not disabled to realize how lucky we are to have what we have along with people with disabilities to realize, hey, you know, I can do something more than that. And we've been doing it in the family for over 60 years. And that's the principle in which Make a Hero was founded. Nobody in my life prior to this was disabled. None of my family, none of my friends, none of my close friends. But the idea of creating something that's not been done before and to help thousands of people is why I'm doing this. It's so exciting to see on their faces after you change their lives and after people watch the film and how motivating it is to get the letters and you know, to hear their stories and to get phone calls and to get emails of how inspiring this is. And you know, it, what gets me up every morning and before I go to sleep, be thankful for what I have. And you know, it's, a, it's a challenge and I look forward to that and um, I look forward to changing thousands of lives going forward.